It's one of the many places you can go stateside if you're craving authentic flavors from Guam. Owners Carmen and Frank Tenorio, along with their children, have definitely made a name for themselves, offering up a piece of home on recipes handed down from generation to generation. Their son, Christian Tenorio, who was born on Guam, was recently on island to do some networking and stopped by KUAM to talk about how red rice came to be. My mom was actually one of the first vendors at Chamoa Village. Uh, she would tell me they would allow her a six foot table, uh, just a 10 by 10 space, and she sold everything for a dollar, whether it was empanada, coconut tzatzas, tamas gisu, tamas mandioca, like the whole nine yards, honestly. They would move to Northern California, where the family continued serving up the island flavors with catering and selling out of the local shops there. In 2005, they made the decision to move to Las Vegas with hopes of better opportunities. Every Saturday, we just sold empanada, vanilla sagat, uh, gujuria sometimes, and a couple of other items, and it would keep selling out. So then, um, they had some Guam events, Guam festivals in Vegas, and then we uh, were vendors there, and then we finally decided to open Red Rice. The decision seemed to just make sense. After all, his mom had been cooking her entire life, and food had been a familial affair. Even my grandma, catered to uh, the Japanese tourists when they go to Cocos Island because I'm from Mariso. So they would, uh, every time the tourists would make a stop, they would uh, cook for them or whatever it was. So I kind of grew up around food. I think I had started cooking shrimp patties in like third grade or something, like frying it. In December 2014, Red Rice held a soft opening, no signage, just an invite to family and friends. Through the power of social media, words slowly started to spread about the restaurant dishing up generous portions of great food and the holiday spirit. We had a grand opening January 3rd the uh, following year, and there was over 400 people that showed up, and yeah, it's just been a blessing since. When walking into the restaurant, you feel like you're at home and ready to enjoy a great meal. Whether it's shrimp patties or lumpia, keleguin, or any other plates that's loaded with fiesta favorites like barbecue spare ribs and chicken. Oh, and of course, the red rice. For over seven years, red rice has continued to thrive, winning best in Las Vegas 2022 for the cultural food category, and even receiving high praise from popular food vloggers and influencers. Honestly, it's a love for the culture and the food. Um, the restaurant business isn't easy. You make a lot of sacrifices along the way. I remember I was working, working. I say that like that because I was honestly volunteering in like high school. I missed out on a lot of things, but at the end of the day, it's like, what's the future? What's the long term? You know what I mean? So a lot of people don't have the hustle or they don't have like, they can't make those sacrifices. And I'm just blessed between uh, my brother and my parents. My parents are like the hardest workers I know. If you happen to be in Vegas or want to know more about their story, as well as their menu, make sure to visit redricelv.com or follow them on Facebook under Red Rice and Instagram at redricelv. Jonah Goncharfris, KUM News.